Hey, this is Chaplain Bo Willett out in Tucson, Arizona, saying hi to you guys. This short chapel time is going to be in John chapter 14. And it says there, this is Jesus speaking, let not your heart be troubled. Trust in God, trust also in me. So this is a chapel time of faith, trusting in God. You know, the disciples were a small band of interesting dudes that hung out with Jesus. And these weren't the the saints that you think of. These guys were all over the place. And when Jesus talked to them about his mission on this planet, about going to the cross of anything, of everything, and he was going to die on that cross, they did not like that. They did not understand it. And they were scared about it. And it's always scary when you're around violence. Um, it's a very scary thing. I remember growing up and seeing violence in my home at times and seeing violence in the neighborhood. And I remember just how impactful it was on me. And it's such a, such a scary thing to go through because it's not a controlled violence, right? Like in hockey, it's kind of controlled, man. But when it becomes uncontrolled, like back in the fights in the 70s, maybe, then it gets a little nerve wracking. You never know what's going to happen. But he says here, don't let your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, trust in me also. Believe what I'm saying. Now, what is he going to say? He says, in my father's house are many rooms. And if it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. This is so awesome. Jesus says, hey, I got something that's even better, that's even greater. And you need to trust me on this, that there's something even greater than this world. You can't see it, but it's there. And he says, I've been there because it's my hometown. And I hang with my homies in my hometown, and that's where I'm from. And so he talks about heaven as it's his home place. Did you notice that? In my father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I mean, it's like someone saying, it's like you guys saying, hey, dude, this is my dad's house. Come on in. I mean, uh, let me tell you all about it. Um, like I wouldn't argue with you because I'd be like, yeah, that's, that's your dad's house, you know? And Jesus is talking this way, like heaven to him is so normal. It, it, it is such a place of normalcy to him and comfort to him that he's trying to convey that to those that only are seeing the things that are before him. They're not looking up. They're not looking up to the eternal but instead all they're seeing is the temporal, the things that are before them. And we get into habits like that where we look just to the temporal and we don't see the eternal. See, God's got a plan. God's got a purpose. And it might be different from what you think. And as you put your faith in him and as you trust him, he'll, he'll, he'll guide your steps. He'll open up the, the path for you. And he will light that path as you take those steps forward in faith as you trust him but it's when you get too focused on the temporal that all of a sudden the path becomes distracted and things cover it up and you can't see and you start getting lost into all the other distractions that are around you right and you can't you're not trusting what God has said see Jesus has said he's got a place for you do you trust that do I trust that Does he have a better place for you? The answer is, he says, yes, I got a better place for you. He says, I am going there to prepare that place for you. Isn't that amazing? He's preparing. What is Jesus doing? He's preparing a place for you. Now, I want you just to get an idea of what was going on in this time. When people would get married, when when someone became betrothed or what you would think of as engaged, that husband would go back to his his dad's place and the dad and him would build a place for that bride to be they there he's engaged the son's engaged he can't wait till his wedding day but before he gets married he builds a chamber a place for him he prepares the place for the bride and so what jesus says is i'm going to prepare a place for you and you know what that means is he 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 sees you intimately he loves you intimately he knows you intimately he knows your needs and he's 
saying, hey, I got, I got all the things you need here. Just put your trust in me. So no matter what you're going through, the difficult times, especially everything that's going on in our world today and in the professional world that we all are in, we have no clue what's going to happen next. None of us do. It's also unpredictable. But you know what is, is very predictable? Jesus. Jesus' words. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And his promises stand. You can count on that.